Hello Libra. Welcome to a reading all about what the person you're thinking about or connecting with is feeling about you. What are their um, overall energies and tensions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you that they haven't been able to tell you? All right, so let's jump right in for Libra. Regarding the person you are thinking about connecting with at this time. Spirit Angels guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Libra regarding the person that you're thinking about connecting with at this time? The person Libra is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What's their overall energy towards Libra? What's their overall energy towards Libra? Oh my gosh, the tower. Overall energy, really? What happened? <laughs> Something happened uh, between you and your connection. Maybe they have something to surprise you with or they're gonna take some sort of action that's like unexpected. Towards you, we'll, we'll figure this out, but first let me get some oracles down here. Overall energy. Overall energy, please. Something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love realizations and second chances. There may be something there that wasn't there before. So I guess this is kind of like, may, I mean, this could go in two different directions, right? Because we have new love and then we have second chances all in this one deck. Um, so it could be that there's someone around you that hasn't revealed that they're interested in you. And that's why the tower is here. They would surprise you with that confession. Or it's someone from your past that wants a second chance with you and maybe there's something unexpected or surprising about that please forget my dogs in the background there sometimes they bark at like the cat that comes <laughs> to lay on my porch or the mailman or anything that happens outside all right tell me more about this person's overall energy towards libra towards this connection what's their overall energy magic lamp wishes choices desires so i feel like this is someone that has a specific desire that they want to kind of achieve or a specific wish they want granted with you bottom of the deck we have enchanted rose karmic lesson and judgment so we did have realizations with something there and judgment is about realizing things about the past how you've gotten to the present what's been going on you know in terms of like lessons that you've been learning um okay so we got a little bit of insight here so let's clarify this tower because now i'm curious like what the heck's been going on with this person maybe they had a karmic lesson that they're learning now um with this tower or maybe this tower is a revelation of everything they've been learning I mean, let's see. It could also be a message. Spirit, why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Wow, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Let me get one more. Why is the tower here, Spirit? Why is the tower here? Ace of Wands. Okay, Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Well, when I saw Temperance, I thought this tower is meant to balance something out, is meant to bring something back into harmony, to resolve something. Um, maybe this is someone that was being very patient. And then boom, the tower. Ace of Wands is all about new beginnings, passion, excitement, adventure, initiative. 
So let me get one more because I feel like this could still, it's, it's not really narrowing it down very much. I feel like this tower would lead to a new beginning of some sort, some sort of harmony or stability with temperance. Maybe this is happening in a very specific time frame. Someone has been very patient with themselves and now they know that they have to act with this tower. And this is your person's energy. So this is what they're thinking about planning, what's in their subconscious. Tell me about the tower. Wow, the Empress, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Five of Swords at the bottom. I feel like whoever this is, Libra, it could be either or. It could be someone completely new to you, someone you've never had a romantic connection with. Maybe you know them, talk to them, you're aware of them, but you've never had an actual romantic connection. Others of you, this is definitely somebody from the past. Someone is recognizing your worth now. Um, or this is someone new that hasn't come forward with their intention just yet. Um, and they appreciate you. There's something about you that they really, really admire. Because the Empress is like, they walk into a room and like all eyes are on them. There's something different about them. And then we have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Now, the Five of Swords does make me pause because for me as a tarot reader, the Five of Swords is, it's very hard to put a positive spin on the Five of Swords, okay? <laughs> because it doesn't end well. That's the whole point of the Five of Swords, that someone has made a, a mistake. Either they've deceived another person, they have tried to take advantage of a situation, or... They're so afraid of failure that they make a mistake. So the Five of Swords is really a card about failure. Um, how your actions lead to failure despite what your plans were, despite your best intentions, right? Um, because your approach was not the best. That's really the Five of Swords here. You know, People are walking away from this person. Um, just, just very hard to put a positive spin on the Five of Swords. And sometimes this could be somebody that is so afraid of rejection or failure that they kind of stumble over themselves. They sabotage themselves. They think they're doing the right thing or going about something the right way, and it turns out that they were very wrong about that. So I'm gonna get some more Oracle cards out here so we can get a little bit more insight into what in the world is going on here with this particular person. Spirit, can you give us some insight into this individual? that Libra has, is, or will be dealing with. Can you give us some insight, please, into this individual? What are their feelings, thoughts, energies towards Pisces? Why do I want to say Pisces? Libra, are you dealing with a Pisces? Why did I say Pisces? If I have said Pisces anytime up till now, some of you are dealing with a Pisces, someone that has Pisces in their chart. Let me know if that's in the comments because this is a first set, like I have not done Pisces or anything all day. I haven't even done a Cancer So You're the first video I filmed today and it's like a whole different style of video. So I find that very fascinating. Okay, thinking of you. So this person's thinking of you right now. I'm wondering if you're in contact with this person, Libra. <laughs> I don't know why Pisces came out. Okay, tell me more about this individual. Okay. Irreplaceable. Yeah, this is like the Empress energy. The Empress is definitely irreplaceable. Unwavering love. I have gotten this card for other signs as well. Thinking of you, unwavering love and irreplaceable. If this is someone new, because I still feel like for some of you, this is not someone specifically that you've had a connection with. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, expressing feelings. So I don't feel like for all of you watching, you have a history romantically with this person. Some of you definitely, there's someone new around you that sees you, wants you, desires you, thinks about you, and has loved you or had feelings for you for some time. They just haven't expressed it. 
Others of you, definitely this is someone from the past that's still thinking about you, still affected. But I wanted to make that clear because I'm reading for the collective. So there's a lot of you in the collective watching this that this might resonate for, but I don't want to jump to past person because I don't feel like that's very clear right now. Yeah, this is some, yeah, and look what's behind that. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. So I definitely feel like this is someone that wants to express feelings, but has it for whatever reason. Okay, what do they wish they could tell Libra that they haven't told Libra? Let me put these up here. What do they wish they could tell Libra spirit that they haven't told Libra? What do they wish they could tell Libra that they haven't told Libra? What do they wish they could tell Libra? Two of Swords, that they're conflicted, undecided, unsure, guarded. I feel like this person, they haven't opened up to you. What do they wish they could tell Libra? Justice, there you are, Libra. What do they wish they could tell Libra? Oh. Okay, let me move my chair back. Strength, Leo energy. I feel like this person, the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, it's almost like they want to tell you if they, you know, if they decide to open up. Because I don't, I feel like this tower is like them revealing their feelings to you. This tower is them coming forward and expressing what they would like with you, which I feel is a new beginning with this Ace of Wands. Um, there's passion, there's chemistry, there's excitement and adventure, like I said. Something new between you. Passion. Um, but I feel like it's almost like what they want to tell you is that they didn't really have the courage or the, the inner emotional stability <laughs> to tell you this. To take action. Tell me about this Two of Swords and Strength. Tell me about the Two of Swords and Strength. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something here about like give and take. And the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. If I express my feelings, will you reciprocate? Or will you reject me? Because I feel like the Tower would be very unexpected. It's like if they express their feelings to you, you did not see it coming. So your reaction might not be, you know, a reaction where there's open arms and, you know, reciprocation, mutual feelings. Um, this person, for some reason, expects you to not, it's, it's almost like they're not sure how you would take this. They're not sure if you would be open. Yeah, there's the fear, Eight of Swords. You know, if I do come forward to Libra and I tell them and express my feelings, will they respond? Because I feel like you are an Empress energy. So there's something about you, Libra, that is irreplaceable. There's something about you that's unique, special, that this person feels, you know, Libra has their pick of the litter. Libra is the one that would decide if this is what they want, you know, it's not up to me to decide. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Tell me about temperance, please. Six of swords and the wheel of fortune. Holy crap. Yeah, this is, this temperance card was about timing with the wheel of fortune. But the Six of Swords, you know, Six of Swords is about leaving something behind. Headed towards something better, more peaceful, more balanced with the Six of Swords. And then have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person, 
they really debated whether they were going to come forward at all. They were very undecided. They were waiting for the right time. And I feel like the right time has not come in their mind. So they were thinking, okay, either I jump the gun and take an opportunity. Because I feel like this Wheel of Fortune, I'm feeling like someone's creating an opportunity that isn't really there. Either I take the opportunity or I leave this desire, this wish behind. And there's nothing in their energy that tells me they're ready to take action. Let me be very clear, because the Two of Swords is here. There's no action in any of these cards except for the Tower. Tell me about the Tower. Can I get one more, please, Spirit, for the Tower? For the Tower. Can you get one more for the Tower? Wow, the Devil, Capricorn energy. We keep getting major arcanas, major shifts in energy. Tell me about the Tower. I feel like this is burning someone up inside with the Devil and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, the Chariot, Cancer energy. Look at all this major arcana. And then the star at the bottom of the deck. Are you freaking kidding me? I feel like someone's desire is going to overcome the fear. I feel like this is someone that they're going to impulsively get in this chariot and come to you. They could even like visit you with the Six of Swords in the chariot and be like, hello, I am expressing my feelings to you. I know it's shocking. I know it's unexpected, but I have to tell you how I feel because I feel like this is eating me up inside. I think this is going to be more a visit than a message, like someone actually texting you. I feel like it's going to be like running into you or visiting you or coming towards you in some way. Like, for example, they know where you work or they know where you like to hang out or they know you're going to be at a party or an event at a specific time and they're going to be there. That's what it looks like. And I feel like they're going to shoot their shot, but I don't think they really prepared for it. They've been thinking about this for so long. They had a plan in mind, I feel. They knew exactly how to go about it. And then something snapped in them and they just let all those plans fall to the wayside and they became impatient and they just went for it. So it might not be very clean when they do come forward. It might be a little messy, a little awkward, but it's because they just couldn't wait any longer to tell you this. 